But yeah, I guess 33 was all I could do on that other one. But anyways, um, I'm just going to take a couple more of these cards here real fast. So anyways, we have a tower in the reverse and ace of cups in the reverse. So all of the emotions are being completely spilled out after these multiple betrayals that we've gone through over these last few decades. Um, I can honestly say in 35 years, I have not had a solid offer. Somebody who's truly willing to take me under their wing and say, hey, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this thing. So my, you know, my true offer has to be, you know, our true offer has to be coming in soon. So I'm waiting on that, waiting on that big breakthrough moment. Eight of Cups, we're walking away after the tower has crumbled. The cup has been spilled over. Um, moving away from being stuck. Um, yeah, after this tower is been torn down, like, there's no rebuilding it. Like, these are, like, relationships that we're walking away from. Away from. Lifelong relationships. Um, situations like jobs that we've been in forever, um, things that we just never thought would end, um, people that have been in our faces forever that have, these are like tight knit, like, it's like masks are just like beginning to fall off and we're seeing people for, for who and what they are. And, like, this is the thing is that I just really feel like we're at the very beginning of this. Like, I feel like this is just the beginning of, like, truths being revealed. Because, again, with that Eight of um, Wands, it's like there's a bunch of, like, new and vital information coming in about... <sighs> The fact that people haven't been real, like that's just the fact that people have held on to resources that they should have been sharing, um, people that could have given us more in order for us to stand on a more firm, solid foundation, like holding things, holding resources to themselves. I literally just got two queen of pentacles in the reverse. Like, they both came out back to back. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This is exactly what I'm saying right now, which is 100% greed. This is a person who is holding on to their resources and they're not willing to share them with anybody. That's the cards, though, just confirming, like, everything that I've just been saying. That's not me just like making that up. So I just had to share that. But the tower in the reverse here with the lovers in the reverse to clarify it. Again, I say these are relationships that are not, they're not solid. Page of Swords. The Moon. Yeah, it's like we're just at a point where we want to like put our guard down. You know, and not deal with people who bring tricky energy. People who say that they have a cup of love, yet they the their cup of love just continues to be, like, poured out everywhere. It's like, okay, you're giving your love everywhere else except me, like, to me. So, and I'm seeing that at this point, and I'm recognizing it for what it is. And I'm realizing, to be honest, there's just a bunch of lies. All of these truths that you're coming to me with are just lies. Because we're looking at what we've invested and we're seeing that not a whole lot has really come out of it. Again, we're weighing our investments. Eight of Pentacles, putting in work. Let's see real quick. The devil in the reverse. 
Yeah, we're no longer deciding to work with this devil, these devil energies here. We're bringing in balance. Lovers in the reverse again with the five of cups. Yeah, we just don't want to be in this emotional sadness anymore. And it's like we're just willing to do whatever we have to do in order to get out of it. Excuse me. Yeah, it's like we've been at a state of unrest and mental turmoil and it's like now we're about to get in our chariot and move completely forward with balance and clarity it's like we're about to understand everything for what it is even if it hurts you know even if we have to feel the pain it's like at this point we just have to lay down our burdens because we've been dwelling in darkness for so long in hermit mode it's like now we have to become the queen of swords in the reverse in order to come out of the cold the queen of swords in the reverse is basically just like a cold-hearted person that really is just going to speak their truth and say whatever it is they have to say in order to get their point across you know like they just don't care at this point like they just need to be free but it's like, yeah, we're coming out of, we're going to be coming out of mental turmoil finally, gaining all the answers and gaining healing once and for all, moving away from anything that's not solid. Death to all the situations that are no longer serving us. All right, I think that's it. I got it all. Eight of Cups, what's under the Eight of Cups real quick? The Devil. Yep, we're, we're walking away from the Devil and regaining our balance. Page of Wands in the reverse. Yep, so now at this point, you know, we're not going to believe the things that people say. We're going to believe their actions. We're going to believe what they show us. We're going to believe the energy that we feel. And now we know the difference. And what's real and what's not, you know, we're going to come out of this thing in total clarity and we're going to be able to gain our abundance. We're going to be able to walk in our calling because like now we know who we are. You know, we've learned who we are when we walk through the storm alone and the fact that we honestly never needed anyone. You know, you don't need anyone to, you know, tell you who you are. It's like you find who you are deep within yourself. My nose is itching like crazy, but yeah. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that reading, and uh, I'll be back with another one. Until then, have a blessed one. <laughs>